oceans are filled with so much wildlife. Creatures big and small, the exotic and beautiful, to the wonderfully weird. Hey, it's me, Sam. Wouldn't it be so cool if you could change colors? Well, there's a fish in there that can not only change its colors, but acts just like a chameleon and can blend right into the sand. See? Wait, he was just there a minute ago. Now he's gone. We've got to go see if we can find him. Come on, let's go get suited up and dive down to learn more cool facts about the sand tilefish. at the National Aquarium with Senior Dive Safety Officer, Jackie Cooper. We're diving in the Atlantic Cool Reef Tank to check out the sand tilefish. Ready, set, go! Look at all the tropical fish! Jackie says there's nearly 1,000 of them in this tank. That's a lot of fish. Now this is going to be a challenge. To find a fish that likes to blend in the sand among all these creatures? Maybe if I swim closer to the bottom, I might find him in the sand. Whoa! That fish just moved that rock. That's amazing! It's got to be the sand tilefish. It's long and thin. See how it blends and can disappear? First it's there, then it's not. That's a pretty tricky fish. Let's go up and find out what other cool things the sand tile fish can do. Did you see the fish that, that ran the into you? Ever. That was a sand tile fish. It burrows in the sand. That's why they call them sand tile fish. That is so cool. Why do they like to burrow? It's a way of building a safe place to live. Do they use the rocks when they burrow? If you notice, it moves the rock to the top of the burrow so that um, eventually it'll build a little ring of rocks around the entrance to its burrow. And when it goes in its burrow at the end of the day, it'll close the burrow behind it with one of those rocks. It's like its own little door to keep out unwanted guests. What is different about this sand tile anatomy? Did you notice that it was a long fish and it had a really long extended dorsal fin? That lets it dig in the sand and lift heavy rocks and move them around like a longer lever. An adult sand tile fish can grow up to 27 inches, about the size of two rulers. So they're strong and great diggers. Do sand tiles change colors like weaned triggerfish do? So they don't turn purple like a queen trigger, but they can change color. And typically when they're showing breeding colors, um, the top of the body will be dark and the bottom half of the body will be light. So it'll almost be like dark on the top and light on the bottom. Did you notice on their face that they have iridescent blue markings? 
Yes, I noticed them. They were right around the eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really, really pretty. These fish are quite impressive. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie, for taking us along for the dive. Today was so fun. What are some cool facts that we learned about the sand tile fish? They move rocks with their mouth. After they move the rock with their mouth, they use it as a door in their burrow and then close it like, do not enter. A fish that can change colors and make itself invisible to predators? That's one super smart fish. Bye everybody, see you next time on What Sand Seas.